you want to be as cool as me? How do I make the best videos known to man? How does Linux man do Linux? What software use I? What tools do I use to fuel my empire? All this and more coming right up. Roll that intro, dog. There isn't one. Let's jump right into it. File manager. I don't use any nerdy file manager like N mm, or Ranger. I use Nemo. Why Nemo? Because it's the GNOME file manager, but good. So, the GNOME file manager has this really annoying thing, whereas when you search in it, it recursively searches. This is horrible. I'll show you what I like. So, this is a, fo a folder here, my last video. If I want to search something, I just type it in, and it, it does it, right? And I can press enter. But, if I go back up, and this is all my YouTube, some of my YouTube videos here, if I search subscriber bash, which was the working name of it, and press enter, that just works, right? But if I was in GNOME Terminal and typed subscriber bash in, it would search every single one of these folders for a file named subscriber bash. No, that's terrible. I hate it. And this can do um, double pane file management as well. So I can have two different file things. So I can like press back, well, or go up, sorry. Open up like uh, this one. Well, there's a whole lot more there because that video was difficult, but there, there we go. To double pane file management. Use it. Nemo, it's great. It's part of the Cinnamon desktop environment, uh, which comes with Linux Mint, but I've got it on Fedora, it just works fine. Use it. So these green ticks here, these are actually telling me that it's synced with my cloud. Cloud? What? Absolutely proprietary. No, you're wrong. I use Nextcloud, which is my own hosted cloud, and it works just fine. All I use it for is file syncing. There's a whole lot more than that, but I just use it for file syncing. So that's what all these green ticks here, they're telling me like it's synced. So if I make a new file here, like, oops, I clicked the wrong button. So if I, you know, meme, you see it's like this, and then it, that will eventually turn green, and now it's synced. Now it's, that means it's been uploaded, I delete it, it's gone. We've got KDAN Live. This is how I edit my videos here. So this is, this is a video editor that comes with Linux. Uh, it, it's, it, you can install it on Linux, it's free software. Uh, it works just fine for what I need it to do, which is cut videos and do the occasional funky zoom and all that, but they also can do lots of things. The, the main thing I like is the, the transforming and keyframing. Uh, that, that's very good and useful. Uh, it is a bit clunky and it does crash and my last video like didn't want to render at all for some weird reason, so it's got lots of weird inconsistencies. It is slowly getting better though, I do like it. For the moment, I have no quarrels with it. This is GIMP, this is how I make my thumbnails. It is horrible software and I do not like it. Uh, it has so many inconsistencies that I really, really cannot get over. It's like, oh, look, pain, ah, oh, it hurts my head to use. It's like, if you've seen one of my really old videos where I, I did the tier list in GIMP, I was all like, ugh. And the thing is, I know I could learn it and get better, but I just can't be asked to learn this software. I'm only going to use it to make thumbnails. I'm not an image designer. It's just, it's, it's, it's terrible. It's so unintuitive. It's like, ugh, it's so bad, but it's like the only decent option, really. I, I mean, why has it gone black when I tried to move the background? I, I move this and it goes see-through. Why? Why is there black there? <laughs> terrible software. Oh. What's more, right? Okay, to make text with this outline, this is such a ball lick. Okay, you see it's white with black, it looks nice, right? Pain! Ooh. Um, this, okay, you have to make, type the text in, then you have to make a separate layer, an outline, it can do this automatically, thankfully, but you can, like, you have to go, like, you have to select the background of the text, okay? Weird enough, and then you have to grow the background, right? And then you have to fill that background layer with whatever colour, and then you have to merge the two layers together. Why, why? Why can't I just right-click background? you think they'd do that. Can't draw circles either, meme. So that's like my YouTube stack. I guess I record with OBS as well. I can show you. Whoa, whoa! Oh, that's me recording. There you go. I have a webcam, my microphone is broken. It's been broken for a while, but this is how I do OBS. This is how I record. I tried with FFmpeg, but yeah, I just like being able to hit start recording and it works. Uh, so that's my YouTube stack. Uh, I do use some other software, mainly on the desktop. So most of the time I'm in a web browser, right? I use Brave Browser for that, no real reason other than it's easy. It also gives me a bit of crypto every month, you know, I make maybe a hundred pound a year off it. So for music on the desktop, I actually use Clementine, which is this music player here. Um, this is my music library, which is synced using Subsonic to one of my servers that I've got all my music on. Um, so Subsonic is a protocol that is generally you, you pay for like a Subsonic server that you put your music on and then you sync it. 
it's like Plex for music, I guess, but I'm actually using Anpachi, which provides a subsonic API, and then Clementine can talk to subsonic, and it, it works fine. It, look, I'm, I can play music here, and it gives you the album artwork, it, it does loads of fancy stuff here. Uh, you can like, you know, you can put in the Ancat visualizer, very cool, very cool software, but it's not great. Um, I would much rather use NCMP CPP, which is what I used to use with MPD, and it was fantastic. And then I was like, oh, I don't want to carry my music everywhere because I've got terabytes of it. Um, I don't have terabytes of music. I've got a lot of music. Um, I don't want to carry that music everywhere. So what do I do? I want to put it on my server, right? And just talk to the server. Okay. So how do I get MPD there? And it was all a lot of kerfuffle, so I just used software that was designed for it, which is Subsonic. Very cool. Clementine to play it. Uh, and Critter as well. This is software, this is just drawing software that I like. Um, I don't draw, but I, I used it to try some image-to-image -image stuff with Stable Diffusion a while back, but it is, um, it is fine. Sub and like. Smile. But yeah, that's kind of it. Like, I don't really use any other desktop software, to be honest. I, I use, like, HexChat for IRC. I use Thunderbird for email as well, but obviously I'm not going to show you my emails. Uh, it's very nice software. It has good good collapsing of threads, which I really, really like. And once you use it, you can never go back. Honestly, if you use, like, Outlook for web for your work or something, it's like, oh, that is terrible. Please give me IMAP gateways. That's how I fuel my empire. Like, comment, subscribe.